Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando. With you as always, I'm Andrew and today we're deviating a bit from Star Wars gaming. Instead, we're going to take a look at a line of Star Wars products coming soon from US-based company Buckle Down. Buckle Down is an apparel and fashion accessory company based in Los Angeles and New York. While best known for their automotive seatbelt accessories like belts and dog collars, Buckle Down actually owns the trademark for both of these. They've since expanded into other areas like wallets, guitar straps, lanyards, and other products. Their huge library of licensed brands allows people to sport iconic images and characters on the day-to-day. -day. This makes Buckle Down products popular with everyone from car guys to geeks and cosplayers alike. Now, before we get into the unboxing and review, as you guys know, I always feel it's only fair to disclose any dog in the fight. Now, I'm no way getting any financial compensation for this review. However, I do actually quite literally have a dog in the fight. See, this chief operations officer of Buckle Down is a childhood friend. Over the years, I, through my dog Turbo, have benefited from Buckle Down's entry into the dog collar market. Turbo has spent his entire life wearing Buckle Down collars. When Diesel joined the family, he was also welcomed with a plethora of Buckle Down apparel. Buckle Down has sent me an influencer kit, this guy here, it showcases their new line of Star Wars products. Some of these items are specifically targeted for a specific form of cosplay called bounding. Now, if you didn't know what that is, that's okay because I didn't either. But basically, bounding, the history of it, it comes from Disney cosplay. So as you can imagine, when you go into Disney, they have very specific rules around what you can and can't wear. And this, this actually makes sense, right? Not just from a security standpoint, right? You don't want, say, a stormtrooper in a mask running around and getting a little handsy with people, or you don't want a group of Jedi running around and tipping over trash cans or stuff like that, right? But on top of that, Disney has a whole fleet of people who, of actors who are very good and follow a very specific set of rules when dealing with people. They stay true to theme, true to costume. So you can imagine if there were, you know, 75 Cinderella cosplayers running around that that could potentially ruin the Disney experience. As such, this form of cosplay called bounding has come up and basically what this entails is using street clothes or normal clothes to kind of create the idea of being the person, person or character that you're trying to cosplay, right? So for example, in the case of like Boba Fett, instead of wearing a Boba Fett costume, you might wear like a green vest and you know some military type garb. Or if you're going with Han Solo, you might have a white shirt and like a vest and blue pants or something like that. So without further delay, let's get right into it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's inside. All right, good presentation. All right, so we got a whole bunch of stuff. So, yep, starting with a good old standard dog collar. So this is an Imperial theme. It's in Orabesh writing. We've got the buckle down standard dog collar. My bet is this is a leash. I don't want to take the thing off and get it all out of that rubber band off and get it all. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. So just a standard dog leash here, no clips or anything. The, the real win are the buckle down dog collars are super sweet with the buckles. So remember buckle down are the only people who uh, they have the trademark for this type of seatbelt buckle. There are other types of seatbelt buckles out there. They use like the airplane style. Uh, there's a couple companies sell dog leashes and collars with that. However, anyone who's ever owned a dog and taken them to the dog park and let them wrestle around knows that those type actually pop off really easy. You can lose the collar pretty easy. So this, uh, the in and out type version that you're used to just in a normal car is really the way to go. So top of that, we've got a nice, actually really sweet Darth Vader belt here. So it's actually got Darth Vader on the buckle here. And then this is, way too big for me, but it's nice to know that it's big for anyone who might need that. Again, it's just got the Orbush writing on the outside, so it's Darth Vader, so I guess if you were cosplaying Vader, you could wear that, or you can just sport your normal your normal uh, Star Wars love. We've got a lanyard here with the same type of idea. This would be good for, for us gamers going to conventions with your gaming badge, or you know anybody going to any type of convention, or I've also heard that it's a big thing just to help add to your uh, cosplay gear. Also have suspenders. So I'm sure that this, uh, this I probably won't be wearing in my uh, suit or in my tux, but uh, I suppose you could add it for helping your cosplay, or I guess if you just wanted to sport that. 
All right, this, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is just a, this is just one of those, oh, this is just an old school cinch belt. Yeah, it's got the little teeth on it. But again, it's the Darth Vader, it's super long, but the, it's got the Orbesh Darth Vader, or not, it's not Darth Vader, but the Orbesh writing on it, but it's in black and red. Then on top of that, we've got your Darth Vader theme belt. This is very clearly a cosplay thing. I'm definitely not wearing this under my clothes to work. But uh, if you're uh, trying to sport Darth Vader or show it off, you can, assuming that's a cinch belt, just put it around your waist, I would assume. And then the cool stuff for someone like me, who's a little more moderate about that, I actually think this is a pretty cool wallet. So I do want to point out this is made in the USA, right? All of Buckle Down stuff is made in the USA, which is really awesome. They have a factory in New York and a factory in uh, Los Angeles, where my buddy works. So it's got Orbesh on the outside, pretty standard, Pretty standard, just billfold wallet. It's got the buckle down logo there on the inside. But this is uh, leather. I like the way it has print on the front and the back, even though different colors. And then this guy here is a little, I had a kind of like a purse wallet. Actually, Amy already has dibs on this one. So it looks cool. It's got Vader on the front again with the Orabesh writing, but on the inside, it's pretty much got everything you need, right? I mean, what else do you need besides your money purse, coin purse, your cards, I suppose a place for a phone, but they also sell phone cases. So um, I don't know, pretty cool little kit, kind of showcases a lot of their stuff. Uh, the suspenders, I don't think I'll get much use out of. This we're definitely getting use out of. That's pretty awesome. Um, I could see this, actually I could see this, especially if it was like an R2 belt. And I actually happen to know that they have R2 themed stuff. So you could like wear a white dress, for example, and put the R2 around and you could be R2 could be bounding R2, whatever. And then just the cinch belt, but the normal belt's pretty awesome, right? And just, it goes through normal belt loops, just wear it pretty much anywhere. You can wear it to work if you wanted to. So, awesome. So I wanna thank Buckle Down for sending me the stuff, the lanyard I'll probably keep in case it comes up till later. Um, but again, all their stuff's made in the USA. Good little company, nice presentation. Um, I don't know. So. What do you guys think? Is this a company you guys have seen before? Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. If you like what you're seeing here, give us that like and subscribe. And if nothing else, go Commando. Hey, I'm Nathaniel. Thanks for watching Dex Commando. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the comments. Yeah.